Now let's move on to the second of the three predictors for prostate cancer outcome that I mentioned, the Gleason score. Gleason was a physician that worked with the Veterans Administration Cooperative Urologic Research Group. They came up with a scoring system that describes how these cancer cells look beneath the microscope after they're removed surgically, either by biopsy or by removal of the entire prostate gland. If the cancer cells looked very angry, ugly, and twisted, they were given a score of five. If the cancer cells looked almost like a normal prostate cell, they were given a one. Now when we look at the prostate gland, we often see that some areas look worse than others. We account for this by giving two Gleason scores. The first Gleason score refers to the most common pattern we see, and the next score refers to the second most common pattern. We take these two numbers and add them together to give a combined Gleason pattern score. When a person has a high Gleason score, say 5 plus 5, or a total score of 10, that means that all the cancer cells look highly aggressive. Another person may have a low combination score, such as 2, or 1 plus 1, which means that all the cancer cells looked almost like normal cells. Over that range, we break people down into several groups. If patients have a combined score of 8, 9, or 10, then they are felt to have a very aggressive cancer that has a tendency to spread early. If the combined Gleason score is 2 through 6, this is an indication of a slow rate of growth. If the score is 7, this indicates an intermediate level of aggressiveness and it may require more intense treatment. We make a significant distinction between 6 and 7 for some of the treatment options. This grading system is very subjective, so it may be worthwhile to get another opinion on the reading from a second institution.